Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Animotion plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to make little videos in Minecraft where it follows a path and you can use this to showcase builds or do whatever you want with it. So I've made a quick example which I'm going to show you now and then we will jump in how to create one of your own. So if we do AM that is going to show us all of the commands and that is short for Animotion. So if we do AM list that is going to list all the ones we've created and it's only one so far. And then we can do AM play and then test and then it's going to play my animation. Now it looks quite jerky. Now that's due to my internet speed at the moment. It's really rubbish so don't take too much from that. But as it smooths down that is what it should look like for most people who have a good internet connection. And here we go. It's smoothing out and that is what the majority of it looks like. So I just had a couple of checkpoints and it just spins around here and looks at these trees here. Not very interesting. But that is what I did in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and create one of our own. So the first thing we need to do is AM and then edit. Now what we could do is go ahead and edit the previous one we made or we can create a brand new one. So we're going to call one server miner. Once we've done this we don't need to use any commands. We get a load of buttons in our GUI and we also get a settings GUI which we can do. So the first thing we need to do is create steps. Now steps are effectively checkpoints which it will just follow and that allows the camera to move around an area and make a cool path. So I'm going to start here looking up from the ground. I'm going to right click and that is going to be my first step, one of one. And then I'm going to come up here and this is going to be my second one. I'm going to look this way for a little bit. So you can just come along here clicking at random and we're going to make a cool little path It's going all the way along here right click again come around here and then we'll spin round and then right click one more time eight steps now you can see these particles are going to show you the path that you've created that the camera is going to follow when you play the animation so what you can do is select a previous step so we're currently on step one but if I were to right click this it will teleport me to the second step and the third and the fourth etc and then that will make it green it will show you the path that you're currently on and then if I click one more time it will be on the fifth section now with this repeater here you can either play the entire animation see what it looks like or just a small segment so once again it's kind of a bit jittery that's not the plugin that is me but then if we left click we can see the entire thing in all of its glory so let's see how well this is going to work and it's getting there it is following the exact path that we have done and this bit's looking pretty good as my internet has decided to work a little bit better and then finally for the big reveal we're looking at this tree there we go so that is what one of those looks like now what you could do is delete a step if you really wanted to so you could um, you know change the set location if you wanted so maybe right click here and then it's going to shift slightly or if you don't want it at all you can just right click and step 8 has been deleted and then maybe you want to redo it a bit lower like here and then we've re-added it again so that's really cool that you can do all those things now once you've got your path uh, all sorted and you're happy with it we can go to the settings now if we right click this there's a few things we can do so click the eye of ender up here the ender pearl and what we've got is all of our steps here now you can edit all of them uh, or just a couple of them so if we just go to step two for example it shows everything that we can do so down here it's got the current speed which is 10 we can lower that if we wanted to and then the cool thing is we can apply that to every single one of them so we don't have to do it individually we can set the new default speed as 8 and then we can apply it to previous steps or all next steps so it's pretty easy to uh, change that and then do you want a step delay do you want it to pause between steps yes or no and then the step type um, there is a premium version of this which has some additional features uh, that you can use and then if we go into the path options on the top right um, you can change the smoothness so to make it even more smoother there is a premium version which has a new feature and then do you want to hide all the players um, 
so you don't get any people just wandering around ruining your cool video. And then the current location type, uh, do you want to teleport the player to the exact position path? Uh, I'd keep that an ab absolute, relative makes it kind of fly a bit weird. Um, and then let's go ahead and return. And then if we left click the book, we can save it. And then if we left click while holding shift, that will exit edit mode. And then we can do AM play server minor. And then we can watch our glorious video going through the trees. And it's smoothing out a little bit. And here we go. You can see it's a lot slower than last time because we knock the speed down to 8 instead of 10. And that is how you do it. Now obviously you could delete an animation if you didn't want that anymore, like so. But that is how you would use it in-game. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. I'm using it on 1.19 and it works pretty well. And as you can see, there's custom smoothness in the paid version. And then if we scroll down, we've got the commands and the permissions, and then just screenshots of all the stuff we saw in game. But overall, it is a really fantastic plugin. But if you need a server to host it, on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.